Okay. Now can you hear me? Say something, woman. Don't keep us waiting. Oh, sorry. I was working on my microphone. Bad quality on the mic. Yeah, that's about how I feel, too. It's okay, I'm trying to get my microphone to work. Damn it to hell. Um, now is it working? Okay, now is it working? Way better. Okay. Leave it alone now. Okay. So, uh, oh, right. Uh, welcome. Welcome. <clears throat> How you doing? This is Ospets Queen. And this is Robert's channel. <laughs> what the? <laughs> El Boyd! Robert! Elsa! London! What's that doing? Okay. Okay. So, for those who do not know, um, yes, I'm I'm not kidding with the thumbnail and the title. Yes, Boogie Two Nine Eight Eight, aka Boogie, uh, was arrested, and yes, he is out now. Do you want to rant about the thumbnail and title? I'm going to tell you my opinion, uh, which is this. Boogie getting arrested and charged with what he got charged with is complete and utter bullshit. Okay. That's just honestly how I feel. If he was ever charged with anything, it should have been something as simple as, you know, shooting the gun in a residential neighborhood. Okay, but this man was at home. He was at his own house when a stalker showed up at his home. He had already bugged the shit out of Boogie for a long time. And Boogie had already warned him, do not show up at my door. Do not come to my house. I have a gun and I will shoot you. He had already told him. This guy shows up at Boogie's front door. Now, guys, I've not researched this story. So if I miss anything, please let me know. All right. But the way I understand it. That's what happened. This guy showed up at Boogie's front door. Boogie was telling him, leave. I don't want you here. You are not welcome here. Leave. He fired the pistol. 
in order to show the guy he was serious. He didn't fire it at the guy. He fired it in the air. Boogie was at home. He was inside his own house. He stepped out on his own property and fired that gun. Okay, yes, firing it in a residential neighborhood in some places is illegal. But that is the only damn thing he should have been charged with. He has every fucking right to protect himself, to protect his family. Oh my God. And to protect his home. The fact that they charged him with anything is complete bullshit. What about the guy that showed up at his door? What the fuck happened to him? Why is his ass not in jail? That's what I want to know. Where is the asshole that was stalking Boogie, that showed up at Boogie's front door? Where is that guy and why is his ass not in jail? Boogie never should have faced any kind of consequences for what he did, in my honest opinion, other than if it happens to be illegal to fire a gun in a residential neighborhood. That should have been all he was ever charged with. That's it. He should not get in trouble for protecting himself and his home, especially when he had already told the guy, get off my property, leave. I don't want you here. You are not welcome here. Somebody should find the guy that caused all this and beat the fucking shit out of him for getting Boogie in trouble. Savannah! Threatened him online for months. Even contacted the police and they did nothing. And he told him he was going to show up at his house and do shit to him. See? See? And what the fuck did that do to him? Complete bullshit. He was protecting himself from a fucking nut job. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Similar happened. Oh, last year. Protest. Trespassed on their property and they were arrested instead of the protesters. See, that's bullshit. Even after they threatened to kill his wife. See? Yes, totally agree, Alvin. Totally agree. It's bullshit. So where is the fucker anyway? And by that, I don't mean Boogie. I mean the asshole dickwad that was there threatening him. And dog. Seems like the innocent and victims get less and less rights. Yes. And in other news, don't know, wish I knew. Yeah, you and me too. No, I'd probably just piss me off because he's probably somewhere living a happy life. Justin, cowboy, Justin in the house. What's with the title? Justin, do you not know that Boogie was arrested? If I was Boogie, I would have shot to kill. Yeah, but Boogie's nice enough to give a warning shot.
Oh my god, it's such bullshit. Okay, uh, and in other news, a body was found about 10 minutes from my house up Long Fork. Y'all is not from Kentucky, so you don't know where that is, but Long Fork is about 10 minutes from my house. A body was found Monday and has, as far as I know, yet to be identified and it was sent for an autopsy. Uh, cause of death yet to be determined. Happy news with you, Trish, or sh should we stay pissed off? No, no, let's move on. I've been pissed off. I'm, it's just, oh my God, all day long in little bits and pieces. It just comes and goes. Uh, yeah. Oh my God. Yes. That's the correct answer. Yes. I thought they were kidding. They were not kidding. It was on the news. So yes, happy news would be good right now. It would be absolutely awesome right now because I've either been pissed off or scared absolutely to death on and off all day long. Okay, when you're in a car that has no brakes and you can't get the car to stop, it's scary as shit. Is it a fresh body or one that was already decomposed? Uh, don't know yet. Uh, they've not given us a lot of details. All we know is there was an unidentified body found Monday. It was called in at 7 a.m. Don't know who called it in. Don't know anything really other than, well, they found a dead body. Decided to pull the plug on her show. So next season, which is season 19, will be our last. Wow. Here's the thing, guys. When I heard that story, uh, I almost panicked. I mean, the one about the dead body. Uh, because the first thing that popped in my head was, oh dear God, Jennifer's mom lives up on pork. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, wait, calm down. I saw her yesterday. The body was found Monday. Okay. She's good. Okay. I'm good. I'm calm now. You don't have any brakes on your car? No, no, I do not. Which makes it real entertaining to drive. Well, I had to go to the store today, and it was okay to go to the store and back, but then I had to go to my son's house, and I had to go to my son's house to get the impact drill because I needed the impact drill to remove the lug nuts from the tire. Then don't drive, woman. <laughs> yes, I found that out today. Um, okay, I need the impact drill to remove the the nuts from the tire <clears throat> so that I can get to the piece that I need to replace so that I'll have brakes. The impact drill was at my son's house. Exciting happy news. In case you don't already know, Katy Perry is releasing her new song from the new Pokemon 25th anniversary album, Friday. Nuts! Along with a new music video, Good Morning America is going to give a sneak peek of the video tomorrow called Electric. And the adver advertised it as Katy's new music video with Pokemon. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Yes. I mean, first of all, it's Katy Perry. And second of all, it's Pokemon. Oh my God. 
Speaking of people being stupid, the story yesterday on Inside Edition where a woman got kicked out of Six Flags Amusement Park for wearing short shorts? Seriously? Couldn't Jennifer take you? Jennifer had to go and pick up. <laughs> oh, timing is everything. Jennifer has something wrong with the steering in her car. But even with that, she had to go pick up Timmy, whose truck broke down. Thought you'd love that. Oh, absolutely. You're both a fan of Katy Perry and Pokemon. Yes. Oh, I just saw the second part of that. Couldn't Jennifer take you? And don't you dare drive again without brakes. <laughs> Not planning on it. Although I do need to go pick up an extension. Uh, but I'm not going to be driving my car to do that. Thank you. Seems like there was, oh, oh, that was old news. Never mind. The theme park police stopped her and asked her to change, and she refused. So now she's been banned from the amusement park for six years. Well, damn, how short was those shorts? I mean, were they basically just showing everything she had? Oh, no, it was old news, uh, but I just saw the video of it today. My son was telling me about it. Uh, the little girl, um, I don't remember how old she was. Um, she was a small kid. Uh, she had cancer, and she had dealt with it a few times. And the last time that I know of that it came back, she had to go through chemo again, and she lost her hair again. Her best friend. And this shows you, this will show you what a friend she is. Didn't want the little girl to feel, um, I don't know what you would call it, uh, lonely, left out, um, singled out, because she had no hair. The little girl, her best friend, shaved her head so that she wouldn't be the only one who didn't have hair. Seems like there's something wrong with everyone's car. Even with my father's truck. Oh, God, there's been something wrong for months now. That's not good. Uh, no, she shaved her head in support of her friend to show how much she cared. And so she wouldn't feel alone and, and singled out. And uh, she shaved her head for her best friend. Okay. And when she came back to school with her head shaved, the school suspended her. <laughs> the universe is crazy. Yes, yes, it is. Oh, you heard me. Yes. Yeah, they suspended her. Yes, yes, it was. Um, apparently, it had something to do with their um, dress code, hair code. They suspended her, yes, for shaving her head. However, <laughs> I don't think she was suspended for very long because the news got wind of it. It exploded everywhere. People started giving shit to the school <laughs> for suspending that little girl for that. And they let her back in. Did you see the bullshit post country fan posted in the group chat? Parents must choose between Confederate flag or...
or their child. Oh my God. Okay, well, somebody needs to beat the shit out of that judge. Okay, well, see, now I'm pissed off again. Damn it. No, I had not seen that, Robert, but thank you. They're so stupid and have their priorities messed up. Yes, yes, they do. Don't get her started again, Roberto. <laughs> well, it's stupid. Choose between the flag and and your children. That's bullshit. Where's Bill? I don't know. Uh, maybe asleep. In other news. Did you get my message last night on Skype? Really think you should watch the video. Oh, oh, yes, I did. And yes, I did. He said he was going to be here. Well, maybe he fell asleep. Oh, and Justin, I don't know what that was that you sent me, but thank you. Oh, sent you the link. So the story on Inside Edition, but the woman getting kicked out. Of oh, okay. Thank you, Justin. I just, oh my God. I mean, the level of stupidity in the world. Kids getting suspended for shaving their head in support of their friend with cancer. People being asked to choose between their kids and the rebel flag. Uh, they told me earlier he was dealing with something and was taking some time to deal with said things oh okay what's all right he knows i understand just make sure because exciting news hey uh yeah i actually went and watched the video so apparently a woman got kicked out of six flags and is now banned for six years for wearing shorty shorts. That's what I'm thinking too. We talked two and a half hours ago and he said he'd be here, but I understand if he fell asleep. I uh, almost didn't make it myself. <laughs> hey, if you're tired, you're tired, you know? I just don't get it. The world just gets stupider and stupider. Okay, look. Just for that, I'm going to get a great big rebel flag and I'm going to hang it in my window. Just for that. Parents now being asked to choose between their kids and the rebel flag. Oh, yeah. Don't forget my stream Sunday, Ilsa, because you never know. It may be my last stream this month. Huh. Are you trying to tell us something? Good for you, Trish. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm curious.
Okay, get her to turn up. Get her to stand up and turn around. I want to know how short the shorts were. Oh, okay, there we go. Well, that didn't seem that short to me. Oh my, oh god, oh! a bumper sticker <laughs> that shows the rebel flag and underneath it should say, if this flag offends you, I'm not sorry. There we go! About crazy neighbors. Ah, yes. <clears throat> okay, uh, Justin, thank you for sending me that. I just, that's why I muted my mic. I was watching it. That's complete and utter bullshit. The stream of pissed off ice pets queen. Yes, yes, it is. How you doing? <laughs> I'm pissed off ice pets queen. And this is Robert's channel. <laughs> oh my god, the shorts were not even that short. Hell, Daisy Duke wore shorter shorts than that. Good, Justin asked me. And the fact that they made that kid cry, somebody needs a piss slapped out of her. You do not want little kids crying. I mean, you know, unless they're little snot nosed brats, then it's okay. <laughs> On load faster. In your very unenthusiastic voice. No, no, there's a specific reason I say it the way I say it. So fascinated with John Wayne Gacy, even after all these years, because he's a serial killer, was a serial killer. Uh, most serial killers, um, people are fascinated with them. the girls with short shorts all the time 
when I go to stores. No one bans them from the store. Exactly. It's not like her ass was hanging out. Because it wasn't. <clears throat> um, I say it the way I say it because it's a reference to something. But if you haven't seen it, you won't get the reference. How you doing? This is Callan. <clears throat> How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slap Ham. <laughs> Not fascinated with serial killers. They creep me out. Oh, yeah. Well, it's kind of a combination for me. It's, it's fascination plus being creeped out. Yeah. Still kind of fascinated with the stories. Yeah. I don't know. Just. Oh, More fascinated with the story of serial killers versus actually fascinated with the serial killer. Ah. And we lost him. It's, it's usually so stupid, though, because um, especially when they're given this behind the serial killer, <clears throat> it seems like they always had such a horrible childhood. Well, guess what? Most of us did, but we didn't turn out to be serial killers. Damn. Random question. Ever watch the Scream Queens that aired back in 2015? No. And uh, hey, welcome back, Wild Bill. Oh, thank you. Yeah, well, so. <laughs> I think people who do shit like that <clears throat> should have that done back to them. That oh, should nice. be their, yeah, that should be their punishment. Oh, uh, well, Bill, uh, I don't know if you saw this or not, but uh, I did go up to rabbits, scared the hell out of myself, but uh, I got my impact wrench, or my impact drill. <laughs> but now I need an extension. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. Sorry if we woke you up, man. Nah, it's all right. Yeah, no. Nah. Oh, God. You just had a rough name, need an extension? Damn. Oh, shit. Robert! Roberto. Damn. He's a shit. Hmm? Started watching it. 
I originally watched the first three episodes, but no one kid was shooting me, but stopped watching it after the passing. <clears throat> but it's been years now, and I decided to revisit Co and try to watch the whole series now. Only had two seasons though. Wow, really? I didn't realize it was that short. In case you didn't. Actually, yes, yes, I did know that. Did you tell everyone about the ships? Oh, no, not yet. No, no. Did we get an update? What's that? Did we get an update on the actual ships? Yeah, start 12 hours to 24th. Oh, God. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah. Kind of a bit. So, um, Trish. Yes. I got a minute. Um, I want to take a minute and tell y'all about a sh TV show. Or okay. A series. Okay. Um. So, wait a minute. So, how's it going to work? How many days on? How many? Well, you get, like, I think it's like. You think you only work like 15 days a month or something like that? Mm -hmm. How it works or something. So it's like, I'll, I'll explain it later. Um, but anyway, I posted it in the uh, Tripster chat. I think it was like yesterday. But the series is called Chosen. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's about the life of Christ. Mm -hmm. but it's like done like different than just about any other show mm -hmm. that has portrayed the life. Like I'll give you an example. Like most of the movies or shows that have been done by Christ, it shows him more as like the person who created miracles and, and stuff like that. It never really dove deep into like Jesus, the human being. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it doesn't show a lot of times. The only time you ever see like in any of the movies where old oh, Jesus has feelings and stuff like that is when he's like, you know, being crucified and everything. Well, this show, like it shows you. An example of like Jesus where it's like he laughs, he cries, he has a sense of humor. Like there's like one episode where they're at this wedding and he's with his disciples or whatever. And they all look down and one guy looks at Jesus and says, hey, Rabbi, can you help him with this dancing? And because the guy can't dance and he says, there's even things even I can't fix or whatever. You know, <laughs> so <laughs> So it's one of those things where it's like it just it it shows you more of a like I say it brings you like closer in because it's just a more of a human thing in it and really gets you thinking about a lot of the things the way things are done. It's really good, a good show. They've got the first season on YouTube. And um, we're getting ready to start the second season, but there's also an app called the Chosen App where you can go on and you can watch the whole series on the app. And um, the first four seasons, the first four episodes of the second season, and they have like a bunch of behind the scenes 
um, stuff and all that. But if y'all get a chance to check it out, you need to watch it. Well, it sounds to me like it's a really good thing. I mean, <clears throat> it makes it makes me think that <clears throat> it's a way for people to find Jesus more relatable, which can only bring people closer to God. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um. Do you guys know the difference between unlawful and illegal? Mm. I won't say I do, but maybe I don't. Of the second season. Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. The new episode aired last night for season two. Um, to answer that question, I'll go ahead and tell you. Uh, unlawful means it's against the law. Illegal is a sick bird. What now? Unlawful means it's against the law. Illegal is a sick bird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, we got it. <laughs> okay. Yes, ill eagle. <laughs> Love that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I actually got that from Reba McIntyre. Okay. Got that right away. Thank you. Yes. Alvin got it too. Look at Robert. He's turned the other way. <laughs> Robert's abandoned us. No. Nah, I try not to be serious unless I have to. <laughs> no, I was watching an interview with her earlier, and I don't know exactly how old the interview was, but she had said that she had once been booed off stage. Uh, she told a joke that got her booed off stage. And I think it was Stephen Colbert that she was being interviewed by. And he said, do you remember the joke? She said, oh, yeah. And she told it. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Wait, they booed her off stage for that? It's not that bad. That was quite funny myself. Well, I ain't Robert, that something. I knew Robert would appreciate that when it's a Reba joke. Yeah. Yep.
trying to make you out. <laughs> it was really hard to do that. I was trying to make it to where it didn't seem like it was a joke, but it was, I was having a hard time keeping a straight face. So the weather here was fairly nice today, but it was pretty nice. Uh, I didn't get to do anything because, well, you know, no brakes on the car. No, that's not good. No, no, it's not. And I couldn't fix the brakes on the car because I didn't have the piece or I didn't have the, the impact drill. When I got the impact drill, I thought I was going to die getting there and back, but I made it safely. Thank God. Um, then I discovered I need an extension to make the socket fit. Next month, it will be four years since I first found your channel. Oh! In reality, next month is our four-year friendship anniversary. Oh, I like that. We should celebrate. Yes. Uh, here you remember that. An extend. Wait a minute. An extended extension time. Do you mean you mean like a you mean you mean like a longer um like a longer socket? Is that what you mean? Nope. Uh, I look in the group. I've just posted a picture of it. Okay. I don't want to drive tomorrow. Not until the brakes are fixed. So I don't plan on it. If I have to walk to the store to get the extension, I will walk. I'm not driving. Hopefully it ain't too far of a walk. Um, let's see. Is that too I'm trying to remember. Uh, I think it's before you get to the post office, and I have actually walked to the post office before, so no. I have to wait till this is over with the look. Cause okay. Then I have to go back out and come back in and all that good shit. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. Well, see, the scariest thing about it was uh, my son was in the car with me. And although I don't want to die, especially like that. Um, the fact that he was in the car with me, if I had wrecked, he may have gotten hurt and it would have been my fault. Because I knew that the brakes were shot on the car. Mm Nobody wants to die, except for people who take life. No, no, that's true. Do you think of, wait, what do you think of the latest videos I've put up on my Dave's Farm channel? Uh, I've only seen two, Justin. Have you posted more? I haven't had a chance. I really like the two that I saw. Just supposed to only got two of you. It's only gotten two of you so far. Okay, well, I'll have another one after my stream. Will this tell us how the shifts are going to work, Bill? Yeah, you want to, uh, no. if you feel like it. No, I'm good. Um, yeah, I'm, she's right, I forgot. Um, so basically, it's going to be 12 hour shifts from 7 to 7. So I'll be working from 7 in the morning to 7 at night. 
And basically, it's going to be like two days on, two days off, three days on, two days off kind of thing. So basically, like on the 24th, I think that's the date. It starts on a Monday. And if I'm not mistaken, it'll probably, I think it starts out with the A team working, which is, or the A shift, which is the shift I'm on. So it would be like I would work Monday and Tuesday, then I'd be off Wednesday, Thursday, then I'd work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But then I'd be off Monday, Tuesday, work Wednesday, Thursday, be off Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So that's pretty much how it's going to go. It's, I'll have like two okay. weekends on, two weekends off. Okay, well, when you got your time off, make sure you get enough rest. Oh, I'm going to try. Okay. Are we doing too much of nothing else? Tires, I'll be shoot. Just curious, I want to know what time of the day me and Bill will be able to talk every day. It won't be like it is now. Ah. I know, right? <laughs> Sounds confusing. I hope you have a calendar to mark all that off. <laughs> Well, they're they're giving us they're giving us a schedule like a calendar, like or whatever. So that way you'll know. Well, I mean, it, it technically, if you look at it in a way else, as far as the morning times, it won't change any because I still have to be at work. Technically, even though our job officially starts from seven to three. I have to be there by 7.45 because we have a like kind of like a small meeting every morning just to kind of go over like, you know, what's running, what's not, who's going where. And basically, if your machine's not running, there's a chance you might be going home. So it's one of those things. Um, but so technically that won't change as far as in the morning time. It's just what time I get off. Which will be seven now, which will be seven at night. So by the time I get home, it'll be about seven thirty to time I eat. It'll be about time to go to bed. Yep. Yeah, six forty five. Yeah, yeah. Well I have to be there and clocked in and in that meeting by six forty five. But technically our job is from seven to three. Get up as early as you do now. Well, you never know. Probably. Uh, yeah, you might be right. So are you uh, are you happier with the twelves or are you uh, not okay with that? I mean, would you prefer the regular shifts? I would prefer the regular shifts, but see, this is what don't make no sense to me. Okay, they're complaining about one of the reasons why we're working seven days is because we don't have enough of people to man all the machines that we need to run on all three shifts, okay? But they're talking about wanting to stack all the shifts, you know, like especially with the 12-hour shifts. Well, if you get all these people in here, then what's the difference between working four 12-hour shifts, you know, like an A, a B, a C, a D, than mm -hmm. just working three eight-hour shifts every day? Yeah. Because eventually you're going to catch up because you're going to have – 
all the people you need to run all the stuff you need to run. Yeah. Three thirty in the morning. Damn. But so I mean I don't know. They they doing a lot of weird shit. That's why they pay them the big money, not me. Oh, yeah. They pay them the big money to mess everything up. Double damn, yeah. Yep. Y'all for quiet there, Roberto. I'm just listening. No. Oh, Robert, I meant to tell you, did you tell them about the, what was it, the CMT Awards? Oh, hell. Wow, what's going on? My the worst person of all time going to host it. If he can find the stage. Wait, who's going to host it? Kane Brown. You have got to be kidding me. And Kelsey mm. Ballerini. Oh, my God. Man, that's like the blind uh-huh. leading the blind right there, boy. Uh-huh. That's like Stevie Wonder and Ray Charles playing darts together. <laughs> <laughs> That's just terrible. Oh, yeah. Well, I could always record it and skip over them. I don't know if you can do all that skipping or not. Might miss your button up. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I was being busy. Yeah, Kane, I'm lost in my backyard brown. Yes. Yep. That's the one there. Kane, I can't find my way to the stage brown. <laughs> I think they should have it in his backyard. That way he can't find the stage. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Knows the rosy truth. Yes, yes, I am. Well, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up, but keep your fingers crossed that I can get that extension tomorrow so that I can fix my car. Awesome. All righty. Well, would you guys like to say goodnight? Sure. Well, sure. All righty. Wild Bill. All right. Well, um, (laughs) just want to say goodnight, everybody. Um, Hope you have a Good day tomorrow. And if you get a chance, definitely watch The Chosen. It's worth the time. And um, I guess other than that, I don't know if I'm streaming yet this weekend or not. I'll let I'll let y'all know. Okay. But um other than that, that's pretty much it. Y'all have an awesome night. All righty. Um, don't forget to look at that picture in the group. <laughs> okay. 
uh, and you'll know exactly what it is that I want. I don't know what the hell they're doing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my neighbors are distracting me. Um, Robert, would you like to say goodnight? Sure. All right. Good night. And remember, Taylor sucks, man. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, that is going to do it for me for now. Uh, so for Wild Bill, Robert, and myself, this is Ice Pets Queen, co-leader of the posse, and Biff sister. Stay horny, my friends, and we are tripping out. Awesome.